Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and this reading could resonate at any time. So we had two fallout. What I heard before I started this was production, production, production. Uh, there's something that you are producing or there, you're really amping up your production. You know, you are, it's going to be a productive month for you. Okay. So what do we have for Capricorn? These two fell out. Mm. Intent, temporary situation. So there's a temporary situation. Could be a temporary housing situation. There's going to be a change. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. You may be going out for drinks with somebody. I'm not sure, but you're going to be celebrating something. This is my second Capricorn reading. I did one already, but I decided to do it over. In these cards, I had an event. We had gong, gong. So there's going to be an event. We also had mice. Mice are pests. That is, that is a friend or a family member that you cannot trust. So there's you, you definitely have somebody around you that you cannot trust. It's either a friend or a family member. Um, I feel like there's a temporary situation going on. There could be a change in living, a change in a living situation. Um, there is somebody around you that is insincere. And we did also have uh, grapes. The time is ripe to have some fun. So you something about having fun. It's, it's time to have some sort of fun. Maybe you've been working too hard. Um, anyhow, what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, this one we had, this was the first one out as well, Gemini. So some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini or you're dealing with somebody that is born in Gemini season. Oh, well, that's going to be a Gemini. Um, uh, something could have happened in Gemini season, which is end of May, uh, like May 21st to June 20th or 21st. So something may have happened during that time that is being dealt with now. We also, I mean, whenever I see that card, I think of the lovers. So there could be an unexpected choice in love. Jackpot, jackpot. So winning. In the other reading, I mentioned winning at the very beginning because we had the six of wands in my other deck. The very first card out was a six of wands. That is a win. Okay. So you're definitely winning. You're winning something. This is a big win, big win. Could be money, but it could also be victory. It could be success. You're winning. Whatever battle that you've been through, if you've been dealing with some competition or strife or struggles or you've been in some sort of war zone or whatever, you've been in some sort of battle, you're winning. You're winning. Okay, you're winning. This is a big win. You have strong psychic abilities. We also had three sixes in the other reading. We had the six of wands, the six of cups, and the six of swords. So I mentioned it in the other reading, six, six, six. So I'm, and here it is again. So I might as well just tell you everything that that reading had to say. Um, you're headed in the right direction. You are uh, headed towards balance and harmony and peace. This is taking that next step, leaving the strife behind. Uh, getting your life back on track so there is you're in a you're in a great place you really oh we also have new love entering your life this could also be a reconciliation it could be um if you're already with somebody this could be your love life stepping it up to the next level it could be a renewal in love whatever is happening capricorn this is definitely uh going to bring you happiness I feel like you also have somebody around you, like I saw in that other reading, that is protecting you, that is going to protect you. This person wants to protect you. They're going to do everything in their power to protect you. Um, I feel like you're in a situation that has to do with your foundation or they are. If this is somebody that you have been separated with, 
somebody is in a foundation that is unstable or they're just feeling unstable, things are going to stabilize. They are going to stabilize for you. Um, I do see that you guys are building up your financial security um, or you're building up a home. You may have something to do with a no, new home. You may be feeling overwhelmed, but I feel like things are going to get better. There's somebody around you, and I think that you've been extremely worried about a situation because the second card out was the Nine of Swords. You've been very stressed out, worried. Um, maybe you've been wondering if the help is ever going to arrive or if you've made the right decision. I feel like the answer is yes to both of those questions. Um, what do we have for Capricorn? Choices. Choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Now we have, you have strong psychic abilities. You're going to be receiving, prob maybe it's an upload or a download, you know, where you're going to be, your, your psychic abilities may strengthen, okay? As you use them, they will increase. So there's increasing psychic abilities in August. Um, listen, make sure you're listening because the more you listen to your gut, the more you follow through with what your gut is telling you to do, the, the stronger they become, okay? Use your gut intuition to make choices, okay? Use that. Don't listen. In, 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 the, in the other one, we had bad advice from a friend or family member in this deck right here. There, don't listen to anybody but yourself, okay? Nobody but yourself. The answers are in here. They're in here. Oh, wait, this is the card you got. This is the, the card you got in the other one. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So there's somebody that you need to express your love to. Or somebody's going to be expressing their love to you. So what do we have for Capricorn for August? Somebody may be, they're choosing you. They're choosing you. Somebody is going to be, I feel, I feel like we have a, a serious soulmate connection here between you and somebody. If you've been struggling with a partnership, things are going to get better. You may have been in a temporary situation, you know, uh, but things are going to stabilize. I know that they are. Three of Wands, get prepared. Get prepared. You've been waiting. This is somebody that has been waiting. They've been waiting for an arrival. They've been waiting for something. Here it comes. There could even be news of a child here. This is also traveling. Somebody, some of you may be traveling. You may be leaving something behind. Maybe you're moving. There could be a, a change in residence here. Or somebody is moving towards you. An opportunity that you have been waiting for is right there. It's right. In, it's it's here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Working together. Cooperating. Increased communication. Learning new skills. Uh, you may be learning some new skills. Doing some things that you haven't done before. There's a need to find your discipline. To uh, because of that nine of pentacles reversed. There's self-discipline that is needed. Um, some of you may be feeling lonely. You may be feeling alone. But there's somebody here that's going to be working with you. You may be, you may be feeling um, like you're lonely. I feel like it's lonely. Get prepared. If you're single, if you are single, you aren't. This is somebody that probably isn't going to be single much longer. You're not alone. There's somebody here that is coming to help you. Your prayers have also been heard. We had that in the in my deck. We had we had. And I don't know if you're dealing with the Aries. I just happened to cut the deck. Could be with an Aries, but we had your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. So your prayers have been heard in some way. Your 
you're gonna see an increase. I feel like there's been a lack, there's been a lack of, maybe there's been a lack of self-worth or something like that, or feeling very alone. Things are gonna get better. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is conflict that brings change. This is tension. It's it's somebody here is dealing with a very smug individual that they have to walk away from. This is some sort of power struggle. Needing to walk away from this jerk. There's a jerk here. There is definitely a jerk here. This person doesn't care who they hurt. They are insincere. This is some sort of betrayal as well. I feel like you have been betrayed or you're dealing with somebody that has been betrayed. Somebody is walking away from an individual that has mentally abused them. Verbally abused them, pushed them away. There could be a conflict that causes change. There is going to be a conflict that causes change. I don't know if this is even at a workplace. It doesn't have to be at a workplace. It could, there could, this could be a third party situation that is coming to an end. We have two threes and there's five of swords. I feel like there's going to be a conflict that ends a third party. If there is a third party, this could be with a friend. It could be with a family member. It could be with a work. It could be with a coworker. It could be also be a third party lover, you know, because the Gemini card is the lovers. But anyhow, I do believe that there's an unexpected choice. There's an unexpected change that is coming. I feel like we have somebody here that is being, has been defeated. They may need your help. They may need your help. So that's interesting. Get prepared for an arrival. We already saw that. There's somebody coming in your direction. I also feel like you are in a position where you're going to be uh, moving forward. You're going to be moving. You're, somebody's moving, whether it's you or somebody that you're asking about. taking control, working really, really hard. Some of you are creating something. You may be creating art. You may be uh, really taking charge of your life. Finding self-discipline to create something. It feels like you're creating something new, but there's some sort of power struggles here with that five of swords you there's somebody that you need to walk away from somebody that doesn't respect you I don't know if this is in the job or the home or the friends or whatever I feel like you've been and maybe you've been fighting yourself there's a need to master your emotions and I don't know maybe you need to do something different you need to learn some new skills or something like that you need to focus. You need to focus on your art. Whatever your art is, focus on your art. Your craft. There could be some self-doubt here. Maybe you're doubting your abilities. Don't doubt your abilities. You have strong, this is strong psychic abilities. Does Whatever your art is, whatever your craft is, don't doubt it. Don't, don't doubt it. It almost feels like you're, you're, you're struggling with your own thoughts about your value or about your skill. Don't, 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 don't uh, doubt your skill, whatever your skill is. You have a very good skill. I feel like this five of swords is you fighting yourself. Your thoughts are getting that you're fighting, your, you're fighting yourself. You're very skilled at whatever this is that you, that you do. Anyhow. Three of Wands is get prepared for something you've been waiting for. It is right in front of you. It is right in front of you. Now this is about hoping for the best. Be optimistic. Be optimistic, okay? Be optimistic. World card. Major completion. This is the completion of a project, the completion of a cycle, an accomplishment, a major accomplishment. You've completed some sort of lesson. This is like, you know, it starts with the fool, it ends with the world. It's like you've been th through a long journey, okay? You've accomplished a lot. Congratulate yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Now it's time, okay? It's time for you to start the next journey of your life. And it does include some sort of... Well, something is arriving. Get prepared.
Okay, get prepared for something new to begin. There is some sort of arrival here. You need to think positive. That, that previous project, that previous journey that you were on taught you so much. It did. It taught you so much. This is the beginning of a new life. Don't doubt yourself. Don't, don't doubt this new beginning is going to be successful. It is going to be successful. You are going to be successful. You're, you may be even getting some public recognition. There's definitely success here with the world card right next to the chariot card. You are headed towards victory. You're headed towards success. This moving, whoever, whether you've moved or somebody's moving towards you, whatever it is, this is success. It is success. This is leaving the past behind. This is a whole new you. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new life. reverse star card reverse is doubt it's lack of faith it's fear we got somebody here that is doubting they're doubting their success they're doubting that they're going to be successful we also have somebody here that needs help they need help they need healing maybe they need your help there's somebody that you can help to heal maybe you're a healer maybe you have some maybe you're some sort of healer and you have the ability to help people heal um this is I don't know, you could definitely be dealing with an Aries, but this is uh, taking control, getting organized, uh, making a decision. There's somebody here that is making a decision. It, it, they're making a, a, feels like this is a ruler or a judge or a father or a husband or a masculine energy that is making a decision, making a decision that is best for everybody involved. So somebody is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. You may, there may be some sort of why is this happening though? You, there could be somebody around you that is making a decision to move. You know, why now? Why is this happening with the star card reversed? You may be feeling insecure. Nine of Pentacles reversed or some sort of insecurities here. But you need to let go of those insecurities and have faith. Move forward with faith. Okay, somebody is moving towards you. They are coming towards you. This is somebody that is very strong. Um, they may want to start a new new project with you or a new, uh, I don't know, it could even be a business. It could even be a business. You may be starting a new business. You may be, 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 you may be becoming, you know, your own boss. Um, traveling in a new direction definitely there's definitely travel here there could also be a change of residence there could be a change of residence for you or somebody could be moving into your house or a change in living situation um a decision is being made that is best for everybody involved it feels like you're struggling with this decision you're struggling with accepting it I feel like there is somebody around you that has been uh, dealing with a tense situation. This person is headed towards you for help. They need your help. Get prepared for an arrival. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Death card reversed. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is act now, think later. You're going to have to think fast. You're going to have to make a spur the moment decision. I feel like somebody is coming towards you. Uh, they are definitely insecure. They may be having some financial problems or they are... Uh, maybe it's a near-death experience you know somebody has hit rock bottom they're very unstable they need they need you they need you uh, somebody needs you definitely get prepared for an arrival I feel like you have some sort of expertise you have some sort of expertise this person likes your your truth they like your authenticity 
You're gonna definitely have to think fast with the Queen of Swords. You're gonna have to think fast. You have somebody here that is going through some sort of massive, and maybe it's you, could be you. This is a massive uh, change, a massive life change. Could be you. Death card, this is a disaster. Huge fight with the Five of Swords. Somebody has uh, been in a hostile situation. I don't know if they've been abused or, or what. They need your help. They need your help. They need your help to heal. I feel like you're going to need to uh, be open-minded. You also need to be careful. I feel like you need to be careful because I feel like you have somebody around you that uh, is unstable. They are unstable and you probably are going to need to use discernment in this situation. You may need to protect yourself. There could be an ex here, for example, for some of you. There could be an ex here that uh, wants to be revenge that wants revenge maybe maybe uh they're jealous there could definitely be the queen of pentacles reverse that's jealousy somebody is jealous somebody's jealous of you maybe they're jealous of your success could be an ex they could be causing you problems they want to win at all costs somebody's going to be causing you some problems i think and it could be the ex of your person you know they're jealous I feel like you're stepping into a whole new world. You're about to embark on a new journey. There's some sort of fear here and doubt that you will be successful, but you need to be optimistic, okay? You need to hope and pray for the best. I feel like you need to, uh, it feels like cooperate, you know, it feels like you have to, uh, Follow your gut. Listen to your gut. Don't listen to anybody else. You have somebody here that you cannot trust. It's a friend or a family member. They may tell you not to do it. Don't listen. Just being honest. Do what you got to do. Don't listen. You do what you you do what you think is best. You're the boss, not them. You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision. Do you want to uh, let this person in or not? Go ahead, exp go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Somebody is coming in really, 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 really fast. They have they have this strong desire to. Uh, it feels like communicate with you or be with you or something like that. They need you. They need wh whatever it is that your skill is. They need your skill. You have some sort of skill that they need. They want to work with you. They want whether it's, this is this could be work or it could be it could be love. It, it could with that Gemini card. That's lovers. It's an unexpected choice in love. It is that you're gonna love it can lead to love whether this is love or what but this is an unexpected choice a choice is going to be made I feel like you need to ground yourself you need to be logical okay be open-minded you're definitely gonna have to think fast this is extremely sudden like somebody could be being pushed away you know they're being pushed away you know and they need they need your help um, Getting in the driver's seat, headed in your direction. They just show up. Somebody may just show up. Page of Wands. Now, this could even be a pregnancy. It could be an an unplanned pregnancy for some of you. But this is typically good news. This could be somebody that is bursting into your world. It could be a suitor, a new suitor that is perfect, that you have a lot in common with. This is an offer or an invite or a new exciting adventure, a new direction. So you definitely have some... So you're going to be receiving an opportunity that leads you in a new direction. This may have to do with moving, completely moving, moving somewhere. 
stepping into new territory, packing up, and this could be somebody that you have been dealing with that's in a third party situation that is packing up. This person may be packing up and leaving home, maybe they're headed towards you. There's so many people that watch these, so this could go so many different ways. Whatever is happening, we have a new beginning here with that page of wands, it's, it is exciting. Um, exciting new direction, just do it, just go for it, just go for it. Uh, be fluid. Don't don't be so stubborn either. It feels like you got some stubbornness here. Just go. Just go. Just do it. Just do it. Have faith. And there's a lack of faith. Have faith. Have faith in new beginnings. Have faith in yourself. Okay? Don't listen to people that uh, don't have your best interest. There's a friend or family member or somebody that doesn't have your best interest that may be telling you, you know, that this isn't practical or don't do it or you're moving too fast. or Don't listen. I hate to say that, but I feel like you need to listen to your gut. Be optimistic. You, the, you, you, there's some sort of recognition here as well. Public recognition. Maybe this, whoever it is that is giving you bad advice is just so jealous of you. They don't want you to shine. Anyhow, um, you're going to be uh, needing to make a decision based on facts, based on truth, based on your gut. I don't know if there's a, like a reunion here or what. Why? This is like, why is this happening? Why now? Why now? Why now? I mean, why is this happening? Um, yeah, I think that your faith in yourself and your faith in your, your gut and your psychic abilities is going to be tested this month because you can choose to listen to somebody else or you can choose to listen to yourself. What's it going to be? This does have to do with some sort of unexpected opportunity um, that you have been waiting for. It's right here. Now you got to choose wisely. Good luck.